Jimmy, what are we gonna do? We're gonna go have breakfast and we're gonna check out the map of Amsterdam and just be really wise and happy. Here we are, having breakfast, being somewhat white. And what's Jimmy doing? Yeah. Looking at an Amsterdam guidebook. We're doing it the right way. We make our way through Gansu towards the end of the Hershey Corridor. As we get closer and closer to our second province, we see more and more of China and of the wall. So on our way we see lots of these castles, probably housed, what do you say Tommy, 50, 50 or 60 troops yeah. and the wall goes along there. Finding your way on an adventure like this involves getting lost. Getting lost with my bro on the road, a shaded road. What a blessing. The mileage isn't the only obstacle. We also have to find our way around COVID roadblocks. Here we have an intersection blocked by containers, shipping containers. And it just reminds me of The Walking Dead. Look at this. Isn't this like The Walking Dead? We get into a rhythm of putting one step in front of the other and the time passes quickly. Our days become simplified. Run, eat, sleep, repeat. Here we are uh, editing the video and uh, gonna have some Turkish delights. Some chirgao. Oh, some chirgao. Just this piece, just this piece will sustain you for like a week. So many Say calories. Say hello to camera. Very nice. Say hello. Hello. Oh yeah. Going through city of Wei, we've had many days of um, roads and cutting through farm fields. Now we're finally back in the wild. And we're coming up to this uh, little fortress here. So we just passed this tower with a courtyard, an auxiliary courtyard. These towers have four basic functions. So we remember the four functions of towers by four S's. Signaling, shelter, storage, and counter siege. So what's signaling, Jim? Uh, signaling is when the guards in the tower see the enemy approaching. They light a signal fire or use lanterns or use drums to tell the next tower what's going on, to send reinforcements. How about shelter? Shelter was important because uh, the Great Wall was manned by people and people need shelter from the wind, the rain, the cold and the sun. How about uh, storage, Jim? Uh, same as shelter, people had to have enough food, water and obviously weapons to defend themselves and those had to be stored. Mm -hmm. How about counter siege? The Mongols were really masters at siege warfare. Sometimes they lay siege to cities for more than five years. So the Chinese knew this and they had to counter siege. They had to have enough food, water and weapons and they had to be able to sustain themselves for at least 50 days in those structures. They would fight the Mongols off using their height advantage of their uh, side walls and the tower. Mm -hmm. And this will be more evident in the mountains and we'll talk more about the strategy and tactics behind this defensive structure. Really humid day out in the open Gobi, going up this hill, yeah, sweating bullets. While editing this video, I look back and reflect. This was one of the most humbling days we had been through. We thought our fitness had improved a lot until we hit the humidity and the mountains.
Some serious erosion here. There's a huge hole. Most difficult part is uh, navigating these big gorges. When you're at the top of the, the, the peaks, everything seems pretty flat. In the gorges, there are these sudden drops and all of the shade is occupied by goats. On the map, everything seems flat, but in reality, there are these wadis everywhere. We ran out of water towards the end of the run, so we sought help from these local herders. Coffee. 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 Oh yeah, our savior. We get back to the campsite, spirits high. Very nice. The next day, we pass some flood channels. Seeing where the watermark is, we shouldn't have been surprised of what happened next. Uh, so just going along the road here through a village, and uh, we see some cars up ahead. It is a flash flood. So it looks like the river is uh, going under this road and it is unsafe to pass and that's why the police are holding people up. So we're back in the car, uh, got our wet shoes, wet clothing off, and um, I'm pretty hungry, so it's leftovers time. <laughs> Fried Alex rice. Honnold style. Alex Honnold style, straight down to the pan. With a spatula. Nice. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> After a long traffic jam, we finally get through. Got the new Nike that loud sound. Hello. Old school fashion. Come back. Come back. Oh, so nice. Very strong wind. A rainstorm outside. And here we are sitting in the tent. Enjoying oh, hot milk, fermented uh, rice, like, uh, slightly alcoholic, and uh, egg. Very nice, very warming. We rest and feel grateful for the support of our crew and the shelter of our heads. Come As the skies cleared and the rivers ran dry, it was time to get some mileage done. Chattanooga boy had a dollar and a dime Headed out for Nashville on the hard rock line I'm working on that old steamboat and learned to ride the steam 